but with Brazilian flair, he wraps up the three points for West Ham. And you talk about hard-fought victories. Boy, they've worked hard for this one. Casado's debut ends in deep, deep disappointment. But the West Ham United party is only beginning. In this episode, we are going to take a closer look at the life of a player who can be named in the list of Brazil's finest football experts and currently West Ham's very own. He is Lucas Paqueta, the midfield maestro. Lucas Tolentino Coelho de Lima was born on the 27th day of August 1997. His birthplace is special and that place is Paqueta Island, Rio de Janeiro. Paqueta Island is a small and beautiful island with no cars, only bicycles and horses. It is simply a magnificent place and hence he adopted the nickname Paqueta in admiration for his hometown. Paqueta had a special childhood living in an island with no cars, but he found ways to watch the beautiful game of football as he would ferry with his grandfather at a very young age to watch Flamengo games at the prestigious Maracana Stadium. In the process, he started dreaming of becoming a footballer. At age 10, Lucas Paqueta arrived at Flamengo and as a child, he attended Flamengo's Gavia Soccer School in one of the biggest and most successful clubs in Brazil. In 2016, Paqueta made his senior debut and quickly established himself as a key player for Flamengo, helping Flamengo win several titles, including the Rio State League in 2017 and 2019, the Copa Suda America in 2017 and Copa Libertadores in 2019, playing alongside Real Madrid's Vinicius Jr. at Flamengo in the 2017 season. He also won the Bola de Prato award for the best player in the Brazilian Serie A in 2018. He scored 13 goals and provided 6 assists in 67 appearances for Flamengo. Paqueta earned international recognition at Flamengo. He moved to Europe in January 2019, signing for AC Milan in a 35 million euros deal. He became the first Brazilian to score for Milan since Kaka in 2014 when he netted against Cagliari. Paqueta played 44 games for Milan, scoring one goal and providing three assists. He also won the Supercoppa Italiana with Milan in 2020. But it is worth saying that Paqueta's time at AC Milan was underwhelming considering the fact that he arrived in Milan with great fanfare and AC Milan positioned him to the entire Europe as a Brazilian genius who will set Europe on fire and turn their fortunes around. He was supposed to be to Milan what Neymar was to Barcelona, more like what Vinicius Jr. is to Madrid currently. Paqueta was expected to follow in the footsteps of skillful compatriots like Robinho, Ronaldo de Lima or Ronaldinho Gaucho who had dazzled in the Rosaneri signature red and black. Simply put, Paqueta was expected to be the next Kaka at Milan, judging by his football antecedents and exploits with Flamengo at the Brazilian Serie A. In many occasions, he never got along with coach Marco Giampaolo, who criticized Paqueta of being too Brazilian in his approach. That is rather amusing because Paqueta was also not appreciated as much in Brazil around this time as he tried to fill the shoes of injured Neymar for the Seleção. Legendary Brazilian playmaker Rivaldo criticized Brazilian coaches for handing Paqueta the number 10 shirt in a 1-0 loss against Argentina. However, with Brazil, Paqueta won the 2019 Copa America. Lucas Paqueta left Milan in September 2020, linking up with Olympique Lyon for £23.4 million. He recounted his ordeal in Milan and as he explained why he flopped, he said, I am happier at Lyon. However, my experience at Milan made me a better player. At Milan, I felt that I had to score more and be more decisive. In the end, this confused me a bit. While Brazil legend Cafu attributed his lackluster performance to the fact that he was too young and Milan gave him too many responsibilities, Paqueta didn't take time to find his rhythm at Lyon, reinventing himself as a creator rather than a finisher. 
Before Leon, Pacquiao's brilliance was never in doubt, but being compared to the other established Brazilian playmakers who played their trade in Europe did his budding career more harm than good at the time. Pacquiao is blessed with superb technical ability, creativity, and incisive range of passing. Pacquiao regained his form at Lyon and quickly established himself as a standard performer in League One, being named in the 2020-2021 Team of the Year. Another impressive campaign in the 2021-2022 season saw Pacquiao play his best football. His time at Lyon ended with 35 direct goal involvement, 21 goals and 14 assists in 80 appearances across two seasons in France. In his second season at the club, the Brazilian international was voted best foreign player of the season in Ligue 1, beating Messi and Neymar to their world. Paqueta was also nominated for the Ligue 1 Player of the Year award alongside Kylian Mbappe, which speaks volumes about the level he reached with Lyon sparking transfer rumors and being linked with the top European clubs including Spurs and Arsenal. It's also worth noting that at this time, he has become a regular in the Brazil national team setup and also earning a place in the 2022 World Cup squad. Fast forward to August 2022. In a surprising turn of events, West Ham United broke the bank, smashing club transfer record to bring in this enigma of a player in a £51 million deal making him the highest paid player at the East London club, with a weekly wage of £150,000. The player, who was lost in Milan, was reborn in Lyon and arrived at West Ham as a statement signing, who can best be described as a nightmare to Premier League defenders because of his impeccable work rate and ability to find space in tight corners. Lucas Paqueta became a true hammer and has won over the hearts of many West Ham supporters by being a great performer on and off the pitch. For West Ham, Paqueta has been a technically gifted player who can play as a number 6, a number 8 and a number 10. He's arguably the best box-to-box -box midfielder in the Premier League. He is a midfielder who has got a perfect mix of attack and defense to his game. His most preferred position is dictating the rhythm in the final third, but ideally, the left central midfield position is where Paqueta comes to life. It's no coincidence that the Hammers secured the first piece of silverware since 1980's FA Cup and the first European trophy since 1965 in Paqueta's first season with the Hammers. His quick decision-making and defense-splitting pass was what produced the goal which brought the trophy home and accorded West Ham an opportunity to bid for a consecutive European trophy in the UEFA Europa League. The Premier League is regarded as a melting pot of talents from all over the world, and Paqueta brings a special kind of flavor to the mix. While the APL coaches are akin to alchemists on a quest to turn tactics, ideas and talents into silverwares at the end of every season always in search of that precious talent across the world, and for David Moyes, Pocketer is that X-factor that turns his ideas into silverwares. Regardless of what the future holds for Pocketer in the coming years, he will be remembered as a true hammer who always set pedal to the metal. His staying spirit sets him apart, as we could see in his celebration after scoring in the UEFA Europa League, signaling to the fans that he is here to stay. West Ham are currently sitting comfortably at the top of the Group A in the UEFA Europa League. Lucas Paqueta is on his journey to etch his name in West Ham's folklore as Declan Rice did. A lot is expected of West Ham this season, and if players like Paqueta can live up to their bidding, then another silverware could be brought back to the London Stadium. Feel free to tell me what you think about Paqueta as a player. Do you think he has lived up to his expectations in Europe so far? My name is Gos Miller, and see you on the next one. Bye for now.